Good morning, ESM. My name is Casey, and this month of May is known as Mental Health Awareness Month. Organizations, schools, places of work are reaching out for millions of people through media, creative events, and aware awareness activities to spread the word of mental health is something everyone should take care for themselves. And more after this with your top stories with Abby. Good morning, ESM. Happy Monday. Here are your top news stories. A 19-year-old Cornell student, Philip Zukowski, was found dead on Saturday near Ithaca Falls. His body was discovered at Urza's Tunnel. Police say officers responded to a call at 10.48 a.m. The death of the student did not appear to be a criminal act. There was an argument at a Wendy's in Miami which led to a deadly shooting. The Miami Herald reported that two customers started fighting, and when an employee tried to intervene, they were punched in the face. One customer then pulled out a gun and killed the other. The names of both customers have not been released. The employee went to the hospital for their injuries. A rescue dog named Lucy ran out of a Manhattan apartment she lived in, crossed the West Side Highway, entered the subway, and was found 10 hours later safe and sound. Lucy's owner, Susan Malone, had been in the hospital for the past week. Susan's daughter and her friend had been taking care of Lucy, which eventually led Lucy to escape into an elevator. There were many reports of seeing Lucy on the one train between Chambers Street and Franklin Street. Due to this, the power was shut down and trains 1, 2, and 3 were slowed down. She made it all the way up to 14th Street, resting under a stopped train, and was found at 9 p.m. on Saturday. Lucy only had a damaged nail on her paw. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Seniors who have ordered a seniority shirt, those are available now. Who's ready for the live stream of the Spartan Stages 2021 musical, Breaking Up is, is Hard to Do. Live streams start uh, for May 12th and May 13th at 7 p.m. and on the 15th they start at 2. Streaming passes are $4 and can be found at esmchs.booktix.com. Theater is ha happens here. Mental health is a state of mental awareness is what is one of our greatest assets. It helps us focus at school, work, overcome obstacles, and get along with people who, along with us, around us. The health, of our, uh, the, ooh, the health of our mental self helps us live well and stay well. This week on Spartan News, we will be reporting on ways that we can promote on our sense of mental health and wellness. In a, so, a short video, but from Abby, nope, go, now weather. Spartan Junior Honor Society has partnered with the Food Bank of CNY to help fight hunger during the pandemic. To help out, you can visit foodbankcny.org and donate. There will also be a shopping cart in the main lobby where you can donate physical goods. The physical items will be donated to St. Matthew's Food Pantry. The virtual food drive will go to May 15, 2021. During this time of need, donations are needed more than ever. If you have any other questions, please speak to Mr. Sweeney or Ms. Mock. Today is Monday and we will have a high of 59 and a low of 40 degrees today. And today will be breezy and a bit cool with some lingering showers and intervals of some light rain at the beginning of the day. In the afternoon and overnight, there will be mostly clear skies, so in the afternoon it's a good time to go outside today. On Tuesday, there will be a high of 53 and a low of 37 degrees. Tuesday, wine will be sort of windy and cool down with some chills. Tuesday will also have some showers that develop in the afternoon and will contain some soft hail or even snow, especially over higher elevations. Wednesday will have a high of 60 and a low of 37 degrees. Wednesday will be breezy but have more sunshine. And I'm Grayson with your weather.
Abby Harrington, who did a capstone project on mental health, has various ways to manage our mental health wellness and specific focus on mental health benefits of being outdoors. It is important to be able to manage your mental health. There are a variety of ways to do so, including seeking professional help, connecting with others, physical activity, generosity, having a trusted adult, getting enough sleep, and developing specific coping strategies that work for you. Sources of Strength, often referred to as SOS, is a high school program that educates peer leaders on different coping strategies, known as protective factors, to manage their mental health. The eight protective factors are positive friends, mentors, healthy activities, generosity, spirituality, medical access, mental health, and family support. Different strategies work better for different people. For example, meditating or reading, categorized under spirituality, may work better for some, but running, categorized under healthy activities, may work for others. It is important to lean on a variety of these protective factors to manage your mental health. You should try several and see what works best for you and your mental well-being. One strategy that I hope you try is being outdoors because of its benefits to health. First, spending time outdoors decreases stress because of its restorative properties, helping people relax and decrease stress hormones. Second, nature improves brain function by relaxing the prefrontal cortex, resulting in better attention. Lastly, nature benefits mental health by promoting different protective factors, such as healthy activities, spirituality, and positive friends, which leads to healthier lifestyles. The baseball team won Friday 13-8 against Central Square. Spencer Carnival had three big hits in the win. In upcoming games, the girls' orange golf team has a match against Oswego. The track teams have a meet at Fowler. The baseball team has a game against FM. The softball team has a game against Fulton. Girls and boys lacrosse have a game against, at Syracuse City. I'm Isabella Lee Sports. So for this May, I hope you, you have a great day from me and everyone here at The Morning Show.